Hey, 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 YouTube. I'm back with an, it's, it's not going to be a Saturday reading, but it's it's probably a, what you call it, a Sunday reading, because I'm behind. I missed the whole day. I thought Wednesday was Thursday. This behind. Missed appointments and so I'm behind again. But <clears throat> we're going to continue our reading from this wonderful book. And I understand that a lot of people don't read. I, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, force people to read what I like, but I just I just like books. And we're going to read a little bit. And don't forget, let's see, oh, this is the book, yeah. Don't forget about this book, The Book of Answers. We're starting, so think about a question you might have. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do I really want to know the answer? <laughs> but anyway, think about that. So here we go with where we left off last week. Last, uh, let's see. We're, we're talking about uh, Jesus. Who is Jesus? Okay, so pick up where we left off. First, however, we must become one with the Christ self. It takes a Christ consciousness to set these laws aside, just as it takes true knowledge to set aside false beliefs. Hmm, interesting. The Christ spirit is the essence of love. The Christ force is the love in action. The spirit is and the force are universal, acting always and everywhere. When I speak of Christ, I am not speaking of a person, statistically, but of an energy, dynamically. Jesus taught, my God is a spirit and must be worshipped in spirit and truth. Jesus taught that our destiny is to unite with the God within. Our destiny is to unite with the God within. The Christ spirit, God force, Christ is a flow of energies that vibrate through all of nature. Christ is the intercessor between God and man. I've heard that before. It is important to know that Jesus has incarnated many times in the past in different races, nations, and ages. You cannot see the Christ through ignorance and sin. You can only see Christ through the love of God. I am the Son of God through love. Hmm. One of the major doctrines that Jesus taught was that we live life after life until we overcome life's conditions, until we no longer reincarnate. One of the major doctrines that Jesus taught was that we live life after life until we overcome life's conditions, until we no longer reincarnate. Okay, I read that kind of funny. The second coming of Christ essentially is our personal return to enlightenment. At the moment we awaken to the truth of life, we experience the second coming of Christ within. You know, I, I heard that before, but everybody's been work. Let me get some tea. Waiting on the second coming of Christ. Let me read that again. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's so. The second coming of Christ essentially is our personal return to enlightenment. At the moment we awaken to the truth of life, we experience the second coming of Christ within. So that I, that would be nice. We just got to wake up. <laughs> the second coming of the Messiah is our own enlightenment. Our own enlightenment. 
We are experiencing the second coming of Christ in person and within ourselves. The enlightened council of Nicaea distorted and censored the original teachings of Jesus and Moses, delecting the principles and doctrine of taught self-discipline and empowerment. Hmm. The Christ consciousness is a state of different awareness and the unity of the divine God. Heaven is a state of consciousness. Heaven is a state of consciousness. Ooh, okay, I can. Heaven is a state of consciousness. Okay. When you have the Christ consciousness, you are never in doubt or afraid. You have supreme confidence in your ability to, to accomplish what you have set your mind to do. You receive your inspiration and guidance. Jesus was a perfect proof that man can be God. <laughs> I like that. It is time to do God's work. Reincarnation was the supreme and major teachings of Jesus. Jesus insisted always upon God being the one who doeth, does the work, doeth the work. Jesus insisted always upon God being the one who doeth the work. Not I, but my Father, he said. I am nothing. God is the only power which doeth these things, these works. Jesus is, in fact, a force of nature, always present and influenced in the life of every human being. A force tending to help each person reach the fullness of his own development. The Christ is God flowing through the individual. Hmm, the Christ is God flowing through the individual. Hmm. We are now in the Christ age or the new age. The thought process reveals a creator. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Then said Jesus to him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written that thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Jesus said unto Satan that it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God. Matthew, the fourth chapter and the tenth verse. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip a few things because it's, it's some things I, I see they're repeating. <laughs> this is right here, I know. It says, I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike your Christ. This is Mahatma Gandhi say that. You know, that's the Indian leader. Oh, shoot. Okay. How many minutes? Well, eight minutes. And I'm at the end of chapter three. The next one is uh, chapter four. Religion and the word of God. But let me see. I had some notes, and it's kind of like an addendum. Um, it says, there are only two mistakes one can make along the road to truth. Not going all the way and not starting. <laughs> not going all the way and not starting. This is pretty neat, though. We got a few more minutes. I was, um, maybe we can talk a little bit. But, um, uh, I'm just in a good place right now. And I'm thankful for the energy. And um, I don't know. But I'm not, uh, confused. Well, that was a time when I, the church is what confused me. 
and I was watching, I, I, I like to watch a lot of documentaries, but about the Bible and how the Bible began. And, you know, they started out with many gods and you worship many gods, and then you go through this monotheism and they have one God. And it's just a. Uh, I don't know. I think the Bible is a story of the evolution of man. That's what I would say it is. And how it got to be the infallible word of God. The, I guess you could say the church, the the Hebrew, the, the uh, Levites, all of them, who's ever in charge, made it be such a rule to control the people. And then from the... Uh, the priests and things in the he the Hebrew religion, then it come on down to the what you call them the Catholic the priests. So it's always somebody got to tell somebody what to do because there's always some sheeple. Most people don't want the responsibility of trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> you know, we all do that sometimes. It's like uh. I don't know if it's laziness, but sometimes I can get like that. There's a whole bunch of stuff. You can't figure it out. Somebody help me and figure this out because I don't want to figure it out. And I think that's what uh, religion does that to us. We don't want to sort things out because it causes us to have to think. And a lot of people don't want to think. Just tell me what to do. Because I remember sometime when my old son, bless his heart, Every time he wanted me to learn a new app or something about the computer, he was saying, now, Mama, I want you to pay attention because I'm going to show you this. And he would always say, I'm not going to be here all the time for you to do this. And bless his heart, he's not here. So many questions I have. But uh, always so many things he have said to me. I remember one time here I'm changing the subject, but I'm going to get back to what we was talking about uh, you know, uh, how we, uh, <laughs> that thought just left. But anyway, I was thinking about something he said to me. He had me about five, four or five years old. Hey, I mean, he, he was just uh, the kid that got into stuff. And we had, I had, and he didn't, he didn't bother dad like that, but he would bother me. And he, I put him in timeout, that would do no good. He would sit, uh, try to burn up the towels and paper towels in the bathroom, toilet paper. He just really, he he got the best of me. And he was so mad at me because I put him in timeout. Timeout was the closet. And he never forgave me for that. But then he, he was so mad. He said, when you die, I'm not coming to your funeral. I said, I don't care because I ain't going to know <laughs> that you you don't. You're not there. But I didn't remember that until after he died. And I said, that, you know, we can say certain words and they become self-fulfilling prophecies. Because when I die, he will not be there. But my child would, he would always want me to learn. Because he said, Mom, you need to know how to do this. And because... And even doing text, I, that stuff just bothered me. I didn't want to learn how to do that. I just call me on the phone. I can talk fast and I can be doing all this typing. But the need to learn and and to to lead my own self, learning new things. I, I was like sheeple in the church. I don't just tell me what to do. I don't want me. Oh, you do it because I don't want to learn how to do it. And a lot of people who are sheep that don't want to learn, they just rather somebody do it. And they would do the same thing, or put their life in the hands of the preacher or whoever, because I don't know. I don't even want to learn how to live my life. And I guess we have to be careful that we don't do that. But next, next time we're going to come through and do uh, chapter 4. Uh, the author, uh, Tolliver, Harold Tolliver, said he's going to try to come, and we'll talk about 
the chapter after we uh, finish it. Maybe he could be here at the, the fourth chapter. Let's get ready to do this. The Book of Answers. What is my question? Oh, yeah, I've been making these ones, and I, I'm, oh, I, I need to stop and try to sell them on YouTube and Facebook. My question is, can I make a wand? Mm, yeah, you can, but can I be healed through the wand? The, I made a healing wand, and this, oh man. So, can I heal myself through these wands? Are, are these, are, are there anything special about these wands? How about that? Is there anything special about these wands? Let's see. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> to ensure the best decision be calm be, be calm okay I hope this answers some of you all's questions but 16 minutes <laughs> we'll be back again probably next week I'm going to try to you know do what I say I'm going to do Y'all have a good rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.